Why Evergreen Trees Never Lose Their Leaves A graphic representation of a short story by Florence Holbrook Winter was coming and all the birds were flying to a warmer place. Hurry up, winter is almost here. We've got a long way to go. We are ready. Let's go south. Is everyone ready? Let's go. One little bird had broken his wing and could not keep up with the others. He lay alone in a cold forest. Oh no, they've left me behind. What shall I do? Maybe I can ask the trees of the forest to help me. The little bird decided to approach the birch tree. Beautiful birch tree, my wing is broken and my family has flown away. May I live among your branches till they come back for me? We of the great forest have our own birds to help. I can't do anything for you. The little bird was upset. Hmm, perhaps the birch isn't strong enough. I'll ask the oak. He'll be stronger. He then spoke to the oak tree. Oh, great oak tree, you are so strong. Will you let me live on your branches till my family comes back in spring? That's a long time, little bird. Who knows what you'll get up to in that time. You'll probably eat up all my acorns. The little bird was puzzled. What should he do now? He then went to the willow tree who drew herself up proudly to face the bird. Gentle willow, my wing is broken and I couldn't fly south with my family. May I live in your branches to keep warm from the north wind? Do I know you? We willows never talk to strangers. Leave me alone. The bird was truly heartbroken. Cold and lonely, he began to fly away as fast as he could. No one wants me. My wing is broken and I have nowhere to go. Where are you going, little bird? The little bird looked around. It was a spruce tree talking. I don't know where I'm going. The trees have turned me away and I'm cold and hungry. Have they? Well, you can live on my warm branches all winter if you want to. The little bird was relieved. The pine and the juniper trees joined the spruce tree to help the little bird. My branches are not very thick, but I am big and strong. And I can protect you from north wind. I can help too. You can eat my delicious healthy berries all winter long. Thank you, dear friends. The other trees looked on and talked amongst themselves. I'll never have anything to do with strangers. I would not have any strange birds on my bow. I wouldn't give my acorns away to anyone. Now, North Wind wanted to touch the trees in the forest with his cold hand. But Frost King had other plans. It's time for you to go to work, my son. May I touch every leaf in the forest? No. The trees that have been kind to the little bird with the broken wing may keep their leaves. In the morning, the birch, the oak and the willow found their shining green leaves lying on the ground. For North Wind had come at night and touched them with his icy hands. The spruce, the pine and the juniper were left green due to their kindness towards the helpless little bird. <laughs>